This is Ian Pretty from the Retro Computer Shack. In this video I'll show you how to connect a Spectrum Plus 2A or Plus 2B model. This one's a Plus 2A model. Or a Spectrum Plus 3. Which is obvious because it's got the floppy disk drive built in. To a TV via the SCART socket. To do this you'll need my RGB SCART lead which connects the Spectrum video to the SCART input on the TV. Make sure the uh, computer and the TV are switched off. Connect the DIMM plug end of the SCART lead to the RGB input or output on the Spectrum. I'm going to also connect this Enjoy Pro 1 interface just so I can load games up more quickly. Let's connect the power supply. Then switch the TV on. And select the SCART input. On this TV, it's the uh, EXT socket or input that differs on different TVs. Next switch the spectrum on and we get a picture. Uh, that focusing is the camera it's not the TV. It'll sort itself out in a second there we go. Right, so I'll just load a game up and you can get a better idea of the picture quality. Unfortunately, this game is towards the bottom. There we go. I'll just switch that light out. If you see any fluctuations of brightness levels or focus going in and out, that's not the TV. It stays perfectly clear. That's just the video camera automatically compensating. Um, I'll just turn that sound up a little bit. I don't know whether you can hear that. The sound comes through the TV as well, not uh, through the computer. Uh, just set that going. You can see the uh, fluctuations in brightness there. That's the video camera, not what you'll see on the TV. Um, so you should get a, a nice, clear, steady colour picture with vivid colours and sound which comes from the TV. It's as simple as that for most people, uh, but not for everyone. And the Spectrum does have uh, known problems connecting to some TVs. Uh, and not others. So uh, I'll just uh, run through uh, why that is um, and how we can uh, resolve it. I'll switch that screen off for the time being and pop that bit of information up there. Okay, let's zoom in. The main problem with the Spectrum is that it can't supply a high enough voltage to pin 16 which is the blanking signal which is there. Um, I'll just explain what the blanking signal does, that'll probably be easiest. If you uh, input a voltage of between 1 and 3 volts onto pin 16, pin 20 um, will be treated as a synchronizing signal or a sync signal and the video signals will be read from pins 15, 11 and 7, which is the IGB signals. If you get a voltage of less than 1 volt, um, it will treat the signal on pin 20 as a composite video signal and it will ignore the data on pins 15, 11 and 7 and switch the TV into composite video mode. When it does that, you'll see these sort of uh, problems snowy interface on the screen, a bit like an old TV when the signal was weak and you see all the spots on the TV. Um, that's more noticeable with a white background. Uh, a flickering picture which is sync issues, the, the screen may flicker on and off permanently or it may come on for, for a, a few seconds and then go off and so on and so on. Um, you may get a very dark picture uh, which is probably a black and white screen as well. 
Uh, and the more common one is, is ghosting, which is basically shadows around the characters. So you'll get a colour picture. It looks reasonably normal, but not very clear because you've got these uh, shadowing around or, or ghosting around the characters. So the reason for this is even though the spectrum outputs, I don't know, move that down a bit, 12 volts from pin one, which is basically fed into pin 16, which is the blanking signal. The actual voltage that's received on pin 16 is, is about 0.86 volts. This is because the 12 volts is fed by a serial uh, resistor R44 which is 1k. Uh, for those who know electronics uh, a resistor in series doesn't drop voltage but it does limit current. However the voltage drop is caused by the input impedance of the blanking signal on pin 16 which is 75 ohms. So basically this creates a voltage divider um, and the 75 ohm resistor is basically going between the signal input and ground so then it will drop voltage and the reason you get a voltage of just about 8.6 volts or 8.3 volts not 0.3 volts rather not 0.8 volts even um, is because of the way it's calculated so we've got 12 this is with the original 1k resistor fitted um, you've got a voltage input of 12 volts the resistor value in the calculation is a thousand ohms or 1k and R2, which is the input impedance of the blanking signal, is 75 ohms. Uh, so the calculation for that is a voltage output of 0.83. The, re the way to fix it is to reduce the, vol uh, the re reduce the value of R44 from 1K uh, to about 500 ohms. Um, it can be anywhere really between about 500 ohms and 680, but I, I choose 500 because that's a... Uh, it gives good voltage output. So if you reduce the resistance to 500, then the rest of the calculation stays the same and the voltage output then becomes 1.57, which is then ample to switch most TVs into RGB mode. And you should get a nice clear picture then. Um, just one other thing. Oh, that's the formula uh, if you're interested which is basically um, Ohm's law. That's the voltage divider formula. I'll show you the RGB mod to do that um, shortly, but just before I go off this screen, just another quick thing. The um, C-Sync signal on pin 20 is at a voltage of about 584 millivolts to uh, around 720 millivolts. Uh, the maximum signal level for the synchronized or C-Sync signal is 1 volt. Um, so this is well within that range. This makes it completely compatible with the OSSC uh, SCART to HDMI converter and also the RetroTink 5x SCART and 2x and SCART, SCART to HDMI video converters. I have all those converters and I've tested all my RGB leads on them and they work fine. So what we need to do is basically reduce the resistor value of R44 from 1K to about 500 ohms. So I shall show you how to do that. It's quite simple for anyone with basic electronics knowledge. I just knocked my remote control off. I'm not going to go through the whole document because uh, you can click the link below the video and download this and read it at your leisure. But I'll just basically show you what we need to do. Inside the spectrum on the circuit board, uh, just below the RGB socket, uh, you'll find R44, which as you can see at the moment is 1K. So basically you can remove that resistor and replace it with a 470 ohm or anywhere between about 470 and 680 ohm. Um, but you need to remove the circuit board to do that. Or an easier way of doing it is just to solder another 1K resistor in parallel with the existing 1K resistor. Uh, for those who know electronics, you'll know that if you um, connect two resistors in parallel, if they're the same value, then the total resistance will be half the value of one of those resistors. So in this case, we've got two 1Ks, so the total resistance will be 500 ohms. 
This will then um, give you the 1.5 volt for the blanking signal and hopefully switch the TV into IGB mode and you won't have any of those display problems. Uh, do you, if you want any more information on these, I'll put some links below the video uh, which you can see in the YouTube, on my YouTube channel. Uh, well, that's about it for me for this one. Uh, thanks for watching and I hope you find this useful.